What's going on everybody? So yesterday Brie Larson sent out a tweet to Entertainment Weekly that said, Hey at EW, I'm bored. Wanna break the internet tomorrow? Entertainment Weekly then replied, Yes, meet us here at noon Eastern time. We've got something marvelous in mind. In which Brie Larson responded with, It's a date. So 12 o'clock comes and Entertainment Weekly tweets out the latest issue of their magazine with Captain Marvel smack dab right on the middle of the cover. You can see it right here, it looks awesome. It looks like Captain Marvel staring right into your eyes. And the tweet reads, The future is female. Here's your exclusive first look at Brie Larson as Captain Marvel, the galaxy's newest and most powerful star. It's interesting that they say the most powerful in the tweet and on the cover. You can see it on the right there. It says the future is female. Your very first look at the galaxy's newest and most powerful star. They're really drilling this in. They've said before that Captain Marvel will be insanely powerful and it looks like nothing has changed. And the Avengers are going to need it. They got their butts kicked by Thanos, so it would make sense that Captain Marvel comes in more powerful than the current Avengers. Her outfit looks awesome. We've seen it before, but never with this much detail. It looks great, and I love that they're sticking true to the uniform that she has in the comics. You can see that her hands are essentially on fire. That's because she has the ability to absorb energy and basically shoot them out of her hands as laser beams. Yeah, pretty cool. And again, the outfit looks amazing, sticking true to the comic book look. Brie Larson looks amazing. So let's dive a little bit into the sneak peek that EW gave us on their website. I'll put the link down in the description below. So this article is called Brie Larson Takes Flight as Captain Marvel on this week's EW cover. And right below that, there is a video that Entertainment Weekly put together in which they show this photo. Now, the cover photo of the magazine looks amazing, but it's the cover photo of a magazine. They always make it look a little bit better, right? They enhance it a little bit. But this photo right here is a more truer photo with less done to it, and the uniform still looks amazing. And Brie Larson looks amazing playing Captain Marvel. I think they did a really good job at casting her for this. I think a lot of people were worried, but I think she's going to do an amazing job. I think she looks great here as Captain Marvel. So they do this little teaser video, they ask where she's been during all the MCU events that have taken place, and they give a little bit of a history and origin of Captain Marvel. If you've seen the video that I did on Captain Marvel maybe a month or so ago, you pretty much know all this. And if you haven't, I'll put it in the link above, and I'll also put it at the end of my video. So the article goes on to talk about how Captain Marvel is going to be the first female solo superhero movie for the MCU. And in this article, it's the first time that we actually hear and learn about the character, Captain Marvel, Carol Danvers. Here's what Brie Larson had to say in the interview about her character. She can't help but to be herself. She can be aggressive, and she can have a temper, and she can be a little invasive and in your face. She's also quick to jump to things, which makes her amazing in battle because she's the first one out there and doesn't always wait for orders. But the not waiting for orders is, to some, a character flaw. EW goes on to say that she's a hero who's trying to figure out how to reconcile her alien abilities with her more human flaws. Here's something that is really interesting though. EW goes on to say that when the movie begins, Carol already has her powers. She's left her earthly life behind to join an elite Kree military team called Star Force, who is led by Jude Law's enigmatic commander. So they're going to start the movie off with her already having her powers. Now, I know they're going to tell us in the movie at some point how she got them, but when it starts, she will already have them. And she won't be on Earth. Now, they do go on to say that she will find herself on Earth again with new questions about her past. They also mentioned that she's got a formidable enemy in the form of the Skrulls. The notorious Marvel baddies made all the more dangerous by their shape-shifting abilities. And also, when she gets back to Earth, it'll be in the mid-90s. This is before Steve Rogers was defrosted. It was before Tony Stark built his first suit. And that's why we're going to see a young Nick Fury with two eyes. And according to this article, he's still going to be a desk jockey. So he's definitely not the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. at this point. This lets Carol Danvers carve out her own unique space in the MCU. They then give us a part of the interview they had with Anna Bowden, who is the MCU's first female director directing Captain Marvel. 
This is what she had to say. This is not a superhero who's perfect or otherworldly or has some godlike connection, but what makes her special is just how human she is. She's funny but doesn't always tell good jokes, and she can be headstrong and reckless and doesn't always make the perfect decisions for herself. But at her core, she has so much heart and so much humanity, and all of its messiness. This is the most detail that we've gotten on Captain Marvel, both the film and the character. EW said that they will be rolling out all kinds of details on the film over the next few days, including exclusive photos, details from their set visit, and in-depth interviews with the cast and crew. So, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe with the notifications turned on. I will be covering it all as soon as it comes out. Let me know what you think of this exclusive EW look at Captain Marvel, as well as what they've said in the interviews about the character. And my giveaway still continues. I'm giving away a few copies of Avengers Infinity War on Blu-ray. If you'd like to enter, all I have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below with your thoughts and your favorite superhero. And as I mentioned before, here is the video on Captain Marvel's origin and powers. Thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.